My name is Dubravko Čulibrk, and, and for some reason I'm the director of the, well, it's newly established, the AI Institute of Serbia. The full name in English is, I guess, the Artificial Intelligence Research and Development Institute of Serbia, I think, yes. Uh, we were, and I think the slides are going to show this, and I have the tendency to, to actually rush my presentations. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, my day job, I'm a professor at the Faculty of Technical Sciences, and, and um, my expertise is machine learning in general, general, but mostly for the last 20 years, it was computer vision and then different applications in, in different domains, right? And how am I going to, ah, perfect. See technology rules, right? And I'm going to mess it up. Oh, yeah, that's me. Perfect. So I'm not going to talk about any specific topic. It's just a general intro that, that we do sometimes, talking to partners and, and so on. It's a new thing. It was formally established on March 18th last year. So what, year and a half old, right? Right now, we have like 40 researchers, a little bit more than that, 30 of who are, are full time. The others are kind of, we needed them, so, so we pulled them part time to work with us. Uh, about half have a PhD, but that doesn't mean that uh, we would, for some of them, we would like them to have a, a much stronger research experience, right? Uh, and then, of the other half are just PhD students, right, and researchers. And uh, what, 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 it took us a while to get accredited. Uh, well, not, not too much. It was like a year and two months to do that. But maybe we could have done it faster if we would have just taken over the, the, the researchers from the system or in the system already, which we did not want. So, so we wanted uh, to, to make it a little bit different, and we wanted to make sure that everybody who's in the institute, or, or you know, 80% of them, has some uh, significant experience doing research somewhere else, or at least getting educated somewhere abroad, right? And, and why we do this is sort of, you know, a no-brainer for us, but I'm not sure that everybody knows this. And if you look at it, uh, right now Serbia has 50k plus programmers or something like that and it's it doubled in the last i don't know six or seven years and uh, it's it's sort of our largest export sector right now but then if you look at the machine learning conferences that 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 kind of put you on the map and for various reasons i'm not going to get into them we can talk about it later you know we're just not there right there's we basically have a presence and and we are not sort of publishing we're not doing research there so nobody knows we exist and i think this one is maybe a better visual uh, representation the the alice is the U european laboratory basically for ai right everybody who's in ai in europe uh, is sort of a member of alice right and then if you kind of have the the critical mass of researchers and the capacity you kind of have a, 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 an Alice unit, what it's called. And these are the Alice unit that exist, right? There's like 35 of them, uh, I think last I checked, in 14 countries of Europe. And I guess you know where Serbia is, right? But it's not, it's not just us, like, you know, east of Vienna, there's nothing, right? So what we wanna do is put a dot there to start with. Uh, it's not trivial. It has a lot of uh, uh, sort of things that, that, that you need to do, not only as us, but, but like, like as the whole ecosystem. But we're going to try. And so what we set out to do is sort of to create a, a center of excellence, of course, of course, in AI, right? And right now you'll see when I talk a little bit about the groups that we have, we kind of have a focus on, on AI for life science, green transition, and smart manufacturing. That's not all the groups. There are two more that are kind of fundamental and that we think you have to have them, right? And, but the idea in the end is sort of to have this 
uh, institution which looks like good research groups or institutes outside of Serbia, which are sort of a flow through uh, organization, right? You, you, you go there, you do your PhD or you do your postdoc, you go off, right? You go out to Google or, you know, Amazon. If you're entrepreneurial, you go start your own startup, which we really, really try to support. Uh, with our people and but in the end what it amounts to is you you get an enough educated people to to actually grow the ecosystem right and that's the goal right and so then then when we started looking at it we kind of realized that there's you know no single university or city in in, in Serbia actually has enough of this expertise in our mind so we're distributed, and you'll see that later. And, and what we really, really wanted is to have sort of a world-class research environment. It's, I would say, I would argue it's better than, than what we usually have here, <laughs> but, but it, we're getting there. It's not as good. But you'll see then the reason that then we thought about it, it was COVID, you know, you could do all, all sorts of things online, so there was no reason for us to be stuck in one city. Uh, our headquarters is in Novi Sad, which basically probably because I'm from Novi Sad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We had uh, quite a few researchers there. We have an office in Belgrade. Moreover, we have a team because we're looking for an office. We had one in, in, in the Science Technology Park, but had to leave it. So now we're looking for it. Then we have a team in Kragujevac, and, and we're sort of looking for people in niche that we like enough to hire right but hopefully then we connect all the universities uh the the what what is the uh, corollary of that is that we don't really want to be part of any university in serbia so because if we become one then then everybody else gets chaffed about it right so we are just a state uh, research and development institution, and, and that's how we're going to stay, right? And uh, we do, we, we kind of set it up that I guess I'm entrepreneurial and quite a few people there are. Uh, so, so we set it up right from the get go to be kind of uh, supportive of spin offs and startups and things like that. So we, we created a, a sort of a creator focused IP policy. We were kind of looking at Waterloo University in Canada, which is very well known for that. Uh, we set up a tech transfer office. We have a, a lady that does patents really well. So already we have like a few patents uh, in this year. Uh, the only thing is that, that kind of restricts us is that if we are using money from the Serbian budget to, to support part of the research, then 50% of the license, well, 50% of the patent has to be owned by the Institute. That's the Serbian law. We can talk and discuss, uh, you know, uh, the commercialization, commercialization rights, but this has to be like that. And the other thing that doesn't have to be like that, but I think it's the only that makes sense is that forever for whatever we help develop you have to be able to use it free in serbia for whatever purpose you want right? so we cannot charge people for that here we can charge the charge people for that outside of serbia right and uh, again we kind of structured it as a government-backed startup so the first thing you do when, when you start a startup is you know, you get yourself an advisory board of people that, that seem to be doing quite better at what you want to do than you are. And we actually did that. We, uh, contrary to what you usually do, we kind of got, made it half-half in terms of people who are good researchers and scientists all over the world. And then the people who are entrepreneurial, you know, uh, GPs in, in, in VC funds, and, and strategic advisors to governments to kind of uh, help us drive this, this uh, actually tech transfer part and, and development of technology. But then in addition to the advisory board, 
uh, you know, they meet like every six months or <laughs> every year, uh, provide inputs, provide connections. We actually realize that a good sort of a mechanism to, to get us to where we want to be in terms of research is to actually get, use uh, people around the world we worked for, with before and who are doing research at the level that we want, right? As sort of a hands-on mentors. So we actually have people from like Rutgers and Bayern and some other places which uh, who work with our researchers hands-on, kind of use them as a remote, remote part of the team to get to, to do high quality publications and high quality work right away. And, and again, they're kind of split. Uh, some are focused on actually doing great science. They're always focused on doing great science. Some are more scientific and but focused on, on actually, you know, fundamental research. Some are more in, in companies because we also want to do something that's relevant to the industry globally, right? So then you have maybe a researcher who's at Bayer or Siemens or something like that working with our guys. And to start with, we, we started talking and, and uh, we're now doing initial projects with quite a few global companies. We don't, locally, we try to support, you know, the public uh, companies and things like that. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get to, to the cry. But, but if we're doing with industry, something with industry, we kind of try to focus on, on global leaders, right? And of course, there's like a lot of local guys we work with. You don't care about that, right? And so the areas that we are interested in are these five, right? Uh, human computer interfaces also does NLU and NLP, so understanding of the language, which we have to support for Serbia anyhow for Serbian language right and then computer vision is sort of a basic thing and then we have AI in healthcare green AI and smart factory I don't really have the time for it <laughs> so you'll have to uh, so I'm just going to stroll through the guys maybe just letting you see some of the images and what people are doing I'm super happy to share the presentation later so you can go through it right and uh, yeah the last one is smart factories there's quite a bit of industry in Serbia, not too smart, most of it. We want to you know, change that. And so that's just the contact and so on. And I think I used up my time. No. <laughs> Drop the mic. Thank you, guys. Uh, I think Oscar